not a walkthrough, playthrough, review, anything like that. It's just me playing the game badly, so you can see what it looks like. Ah, uh, okay, oh dear. <laughs> uh, that was a good start. So I just played Fire Shark, and now I'm playing Fire Mustang. Um, this is, well, it's obviously a P-51, were they P-51? I think it's P-51. Mustang, World War II fighter, the best, the best propeller driven fighter of World War II. That looks like a, uh, actually that, that was, that was a Messerschmitt 110. Mr. Schmidt, if I want to pronounce it correctly. Ah, oh, bollocks. Yeah, there you go. Continue, play, start. So, 1940, and lots of gibberish that I can't read. I'm sure it's not gibberish to anyone who reads Japanese, but I don't. Uh, I was going to say they look like Focke Wolf 190s, but they don't because they've got twin, in twin engines. Those were probably the F109s. But anyway, yeah, I mean, after Fire Shark, this Fire Mustang is pretty weak, if I'm honest. Um, I mean, it's fast enough, and it's got some very nice parallax in the background, the sky and stuff like that. But there, there is a complete lack of detail. Helicopter? No, come on, seriously just get real. Alright, they did have helicopters, the Germans, in World War II, but they weren't, they, they were not, no, nothing like that. No. Don't be silly. Oh, what's that? Okay, we're getting some power now. Um, bloody hell. Uh, it's fast. I mean, this has things going for it. It's quick. There's a lot of, well, I've, I've got pretty, what the bloody hell, ass. Oh dear, graphical glitching. That'll be one of those secret super duper weapons. The Germans did have some, ve oh, bollocks. They did, oh. Can I complete a sentence before I die? Apparently not. They did have some very clever secret weapons in development, like the flying wing, what the hell? All right. Well, oh, that was probably a Condor, their long-range bomber used over the Atlantic. Continue, yeah, for what it's worth. Yeah, they had some very, very funky weapons in development and stuff. Way, way, I mean, they, they were, they had advanced stuff, they just didn't have the uh, manufacturing capability after we basically flattened all of their cities. Um, but yeah, very advanced stuff. I have got a, a, a big bomb here, but I'm just like, I ain't finding the right time to use it, and when I think it might be, I generally die first anyway. Um, but I mean, the game... I like the speed of it. I like that I can get quite powerful weapons in not too short a space of time. But the background is so dull. Um, there is something just shockingly dull about the whole thing. The renders... It, it, it plays alright, but I just wish it looked better. Ooh. What have we got here? All right, paying attention a little bit there, and oh, yeah. Oh, 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 God. Lost the power of speech now, paying so much attention to what I'm doing and trying not to die that, oh, dear. Yeah, let's lob that at it, and that. They don't appear to be doing a lot, oh, crap.
There you go. Let's hope we've got a more interesting looking background now. Please. Where are we going now? Are we in the Pacific? I don't know. Yeah, I guess we are. So what the hell are these? Well, it's still got that cool parallax thing going on. But they, these are, these are, I think these are Japanese planes. They had some, uh, they had some interesting stuff that they were sort of started, oh, they're zeros, aren't they? I can't remember what, Cherry Blossom, that was it. It was their kamikaze missile. It was it was a ma manned missile, and I'm pretty sure they were called Cherry Blossom. Uh, well, that was the English translation. I forgot what they were called, the, the Japanese word. Um, and I'm going to guess that's what these things were. They were dropped from a bomber. It was basically a cruise missile, or kind of. Um, kind of like a V-1, I guess, except they had a pilot, and the pilot would guide it onto a ship. They're kind of like they had their, um, I forgot what they're called as well, a, a, a manned torpedo. And you were, theoretically, the, the people who, who drove the torpedo thing, they were told, yeah, you, you, you aim it at the ship, and then at the last moment you get out. You opened your hatch and you get out, only uh, the hatch was then locked with the minute and they, ha they couldn't get out and they blew up with the mist, the, with the torpedo. Um, history lessons with Benway. Yeah, Fire Mustang on the Mega Drive. Uh, it's interesting, but it's graphically pretty poor, really. Um, could do better. I would give it a C plus if I was my games teacher writing my games report because that's what he always wrote. I never actually turned up for the lesson so he gave me C. Could do better. Mm, could have turned up. That'll do. Fire Mustang. It's alright I guess. Flawed. You got the picture. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video please consider clicking the thumbs up button. I upload videos daily, so go ahead and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more. To all those who've already subscribed, I'd just like to say a great big thank you.